All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Adam. I got my next job here. And uh, what I've got is uh, this is a motorcycle flywheel. And this is a job that I do on the regular basis for uh, the motorcycle shop here. Uh, a couple other projects that you've seen me do was for them. And uh, this is something that they bring me. I don't know, maybe uh, every couple months he'll bring me one or two. And uh, I believe these go on... Uh, Triumphs, like the, uh, I'm gonna say like a Triumph Bonneville, Triumph Scrambler, uh, bikes in that line there. And what they always have me do is basically just machine a bunch of metal off this thing to uh, drop the weight. And I've done enough of them now that I actually, uh, once I start machining it, uh, there's no specific dimensions that's uh, needed to be on this. They just like metal taking off of it. But I do the same amount every time. And I take it off each side here. And I also take some along the back, right down before you get to these two holes that's drilled in here. And uh, I've got some dimensions in my mind that I always remember that they are once I start cutting it. I just use my uh, my uh, calipers and, uh, and measure it and, and make them the same every time. It's a pretty easy job. It usually doesn't take long to do. It's usually about a half hour job. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get cracking on it. So what I thought I'd do this time, I got my old Hanson scale out. We're going to go ahead and weigh this thing and see what it weighs now. And when I'm done, we'll weigh it again and see how much weight we actually took off of it. So it looks like, hopefully you can see, it's right at nine pounds. It's, uh, I mean, it's just a shade under eight pounds. So um, I'm just gonna call it at nine because it's right there on the line, nine pounds. I'm just gonna go ahead and write it down so I don't forget. Nine pounds, so it's been so long since I waited, I can't remember how much weight's taken off, but uh, I believe it's at least a couple pounds that's gonna come off of it. So I'm gonna do this in the Victor. I use my little three jaw chuck and I usually chuck it on one side. Uh, I usually put a center in here just to kind of help support it because I always do kind of fear of it snatching out of there, but it, it, it uh, usually does really good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get, the, uh, get the lay set up. I gotta go swap chucks out because I got the four jaw on now. Let me get the three jaw on and we'll get it set up and we'll start doing some cutting. All right, I got the three jaw set up and getting ready to uh, get her chucked up here usually what I do is just kind of there's a bevel there so it's not really sitting flat against a face or anything but what I'm gonna do so I got a chuck and I'm just gonna do a quick check with my indicator and if it needs bumping I will all right we got a few thousands run out and uh, use my lead and see if I can get her one hit and I'm there. That's all I needed. Just double check my chucking pressure. And that should be good. Alright. Use there's my turning tool and uh I'm going to be using that new, that is car insert, and that's actually the same edge that I used in my uh, last uh, facing video that I did. And I got my little bell center. I'm just going to run that up. As I said, I just use that just to kind of 
help support it because I don't want it snatching it out of them chuck jaws. All right, we're about ready to roll here. And what I'm going to do is just come up kind of close to that bolt pattern. All right, I'm going to set me a zero on my cross dial. And I'm also going to turn it on and uh, describe me a line. And I'll come up to that and uh, I'll measure my calipers. And I believe I make that, I don't remember what it was now. Four and five eighths, I think, or we'll check it and see. All right, here we go. Now that is a um, whatever steel they use to make these flywheels. That's some pretty tough stuff. So you gotta, you pretty much gotta use an insert on this if you're gonna if you're gonna make some cuts on it. All right, so I just got me a little. There's a little reference line I can come up to, and what I'm gonna do. I'm going to touch off. I'm going to take a quarter inch off the back side of this. That's what I always take. And I'll take it in 50 thousandths passes. I'm running a little bit faster than I normally do. Alright, there's my first pass. I'm just going to kind of reach around the camera here. See what I get. Okay. I believe what I make that is um, 3 and 5 eighths. I'm just going to take another 50 and then I'll finish that off at the end. Reset my zero. Come back in for another pass. See them chips, man, they're a bright blue. As I said, I don't know what grade that steel is, but it's some tough stuff. I've taken 200 and this is going to be the last face pass here. Take another 50. And I'm going to reset my dial to zero. Because I'll make a little, a little finish cut on that OD there. Alright, and 
we'll take another measurement here. All right, I'm going to take 40 thousandths, and that'll bring me about three and five eighths right there. first face is done it is car inserts doing great all right I'm getting ready to do the uh, the OD here and what I'm gonna do is run my tool up to these little these little ears and I'm just gonna come up and just touch one all right it's touching there I'm gonna set my dial and I'm going to move it back five thousandths. And you see it's clearing it. Actually, I just told you wrong. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move back ten. All right, that's ten thousandths. And then what I do on my last cut, I feed it another five and then come back to clean it up. And I slowed it down. I'm going to run 180 RPM on this. I'm making a, I'm feeding in a hundred thousandths and I'm running about a ten thousandths feed rate. measurement see where I'm at all right I believe I got about 175 to come off of it it's basically what it's coming down to is both of these diameters on each side here is going to be the same as what this is this area that I'm chucked on it's going to be whatever that is there Down to the last cut. I'm bringing it to five and five eight, so I got to take another seventy five off of it. Come up to my zero, feed in five, and just manually pull the tool back, clean up that face. All right, and that's it. All I got to do, I'll cut a chamfer on those corners with the tool. All right, I'm at five and five eighths. That's what I wanted. Those numbers always come to me whenever I'm actually doing it. I can't ever seem to remember until I start cutting.
All right, first side's done. I'm gonna flip it around, chuck it, and uh, turn this side. It's warm. Make sure the chips are off the face there because it's going to be up against it. Ah, come on. There we go. Okay. And what I'm doing, I'm actually chucking that that boss that was on the this other side that I just faced. It's chucking that there. Let's see. It looks like it's running nice and straight. Now, I'll go ahead and give it a quick check, but if it looks like it's good enough. I'm within one thousandths on the face, so I'm going to leave that alone. All right, good and tight. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up one of them little ears there and just touch it. Back off 10, I'm going to set me a zero on my dial here. All right. Run you up so you can see. All right, we'll go with that. All right, cross dials on zero. Should be 75. magnet in there snaps in them chips. Alright, that's it. All I got to do is uh, I'm going to turn my tool around and uh, give it a quick chamfer and that will be done for the lathe, the lathe work. Got her done. That's it. Still nice and hot from the lathe. Let's see what. Let's see how much metal we took off. That's on six. 
So I'm gonna say we took off three pounds of metal right there. I mean, it's, uh, it's just past the six line. So I'm just gonna call it three pounds. So that's a uh, significant amount of metal come off these flywheels. And uh, from what I understand, them guys like that because it just helps that motor wrap up a little faster. It kinda, it's a performance thing, you know. The guys are always looking for a way to uh, get a little bit of power out of their bikes. And uh, this, is a, this is actually a mod that the, uh, the, the mechanics there at the bike shop that they do. And uh, I believe this is a thing that they sell the customers for their bikes whenever they're in there and they're doing some mods to try to trick the bikes out is they, uh, they sell them a new flywheel that's lightened. So it's always, uh, it's pretty neat knowing that, uh, that I get to help do that. And, uh, and I enjoy it, you know, it's fun. I've done enough of them now. You've seen that it, it's not very hard to do. You just gotta have a good carbide uh, tool to do it. You gotta have a good three jaw chuck to uh, get it done quick. And it always works out good. So I'm gonna uh, let them know this is done. They'll probably be here tomorrow to pick it up and uh, I heard that they got another job for me to do. So they're gonna be dropping off something else. All right, so that's it for this job. Another one down. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, thanks again to everybody that's been uh, supporting me and all the new subscribers, everybody that's been checking out my channel and my videos. Uh, I really appreciate it. All the great comments, I've been getting a lot of them. So uh, thanks again, guys, I appreciate it. So uh, I'm out of here. We'll catch you guys on the next job, okay? See you around.